To get us rolling, I want to take a few mini concepts and put them together in one lesson because I think they all rotate around each other and you're going to see how that's going to work in just a second. Now, let's talk about previewing effects inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you don't happen to have the effects window open in the lower left-hand corner of your interface, don't worry. You can simply navigate to this effects button right here in the upper left-hand corner. Simply click on it and you'll notice that the effects window will pop out and show you all available effects on your system. Now, depending on what third-party effects you have installed, you may see more options in here. But what I've tried to do is try to strip everything down to almost the complete bare bones for the purposes of these tutorials. Now let's talk about previewing effects. Now one thing I love about Resolve is that I don't have to constantly drag effects onto clips to preview them. What I have the ability to do is to simply with any clip, and let's just use box blur as an example, I can simply hover over box blur and as I drag back and forth, you'll notice that it's almost like I'm skimming through my timeline, getting a preview of exactly what this or any of the other effects that I drag over will do when they are applied. Now you'll also notice that as I do this, a little star appears over here on the right hand side of the effect button. That icon represents an effect favorite, meaning you'll notice down here in the lower left hand corner, a little of favorites window, I can simply navigate back to Mosaic Blur as the example, I can click on the favorite button and it will now appear down there. So if I ever need quick access to it, I can simply grab it, drag it and drop it and apply it to my clip. Now, with that being said, I'm just going to unfavorite it for just a second. You're going to notice quickly that we're going to run into a bit of an issue. And more specifically with lens blur, but also more so when we get into the FX color section with things like contrast pop and even dehaze and even false color, you'll notice that I get a watermark that says DaVinci Resolve Studio appearing over these effects. Those effects are only included in the full version of Resolve, which I am not running right now for the purpose of this course, because for the most part, we don't actually even need it. We're gonna be doing everything with the standard version of Resolve. And what I wanna point out is that with the full version of Resolve, if you decide to go down that road, there's a whole bunch of great additional features other than just effects. It's about $300 US, but what's great about it is the fact that once you purchase it, all future updates of Resolve Studio will be free. So that's something important to keep in mind. Now, again, like I said, we're not going to be using any of the features of Resolve Studio in this course, but I just wanted to mention that so you can put it in your back pocket for future reference.